Hi everyone, my name is Maria Elena and today we're going to be reviewing Komoda Coffee by Zane and Heath. I'm so excited. It's been such a long time coming. Um, I've been watching them since they would do their coffee talks with Big Red and I'm so stoked. Um, so I just got the house blend grounded coffee um, just because I'm not a huge fan of the cake cups. I like my coffee on the stronger side and we're going to be reviewing the flavor, um, the design, the coffee design itself, and we're going to be reviewing the prices. So stay tuned. Oh wow. My kitchen has really good lighting. I should have probably done this here. That's okay. Okay, so I haven't even opened the coffee and I thought it would be a good idea to smell it on camera. Completely. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just completely sealed. I have to like, get some scissors and open it. Okay, I don't want to sound mean, but this smells burnt. The real question is, is it like ready for the espresso machine? I don't know. I'm not going to grind it just because, I don't know, it would be super fine if I do. So let's just try this out. How is it gonna work? Also, this is a really bad angle. Okay, this is my espresso machine. This is more on like the manual side. So if you're looking for an automatic, this is definitely not it. Um, my sister has an automatic and you just press a button and everything's done for you. Literally, it even grinds the coffee. Um, but if you want to feel like a cute little barista, I recommend this. Okay, I got my cup of ice, two shots. So right off the bat, what I can compare it to like other espresso that I've made, it's not as rich and as thick like the consistency of the coffee. Oh, and this is just like the soy milk that I use. It's my favorite one. So is it not as thick and creamy as other espresso because I didn't grind it more? Like it could have been grinded a little bit more, but let's, let's try this. It's a little light. Okay, so I just added a lot of, um, another shot because I think I added too much milk and I don't like my coffee milky, so let's try this again. I don't know how to feel. Like, do I need to try it alone?
You know what? <laughs> I promise I'm not trying to be me or anything. I'm not trying to be me, okay? This is just like my honest opinion. It reminds me of like not even espresso, it's like a regular coffee shop blend. Like almost like if it was like Dunkin'. Like just a regular coffee, not even anything else. With like some milk. The smell is it amazing? No. It's like burnt. It just smells like burnt. There's no strong mm. I wouldn't describe it as rich uh, so that's the initial reaction of like the taste as for the design of the coffee company I think it's not very personal it's very I don't know very contemporary in a way um, it just feels like like obviously it looks like a cool hip modern design um i'm obsessed with the name though i think they did a really good job on the name um as for the company itself i just really wish that they had like all the flavors in a whole bean version i think that would be um so much better for people who uh like to have their coffee in different ways like if they like to use a french press the cold brew um, version instead of like um, just having it specifically um, K-Cups um, style. Uh, the price is $10.99 for this, this bag, and this is 12 ounces. Um, as for the price goes, like I'm not too sure if it's, you know, um, fair trade or it's obviously a new company so it's gonna be and it's um a small company so it's gonna be um pricier so yeah it's on their channel where it's 1099 but um oh and shipping is not free so you do have to pay for that so i think in total with taxes and shipping this was around 15 dollars um, will I buy it again? No. If they decide to um, bring out all the coffee flavors that they originally did in a whole bean versions, I will definitely would like to try. Um, but it's up to you. I mean, go get it. Don't go. Don't get it. It's up to you. I had really fun. I had a lot of fun making this video. Thank you for watching. I had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you enjoyed. I have to be honest, I love coffee and I thought what better way than to combine my two favorite things which is YouTube and coffee so I don't know what else you're going to see, I don't know what you're going to watch this video, I don't know what else I'm bringing out but I'm, I have a break in school right now and I, I have those winter blues so I think this is a good way to spend my time right now and create videos. So I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment, like this video, subscribe. Maybe I'll make more. I do have Emma's new coffee collection. Maybe I can make a review on that um, coffee brand. Um, yeah, leave a comment. Let's start a conversation, a community. I'm so glad you watched. Uh, video today so thank you bye